The metal dice bundle for Fantasy Grounds Unity is going to provide a series of additional dice that you'll be able to use once you're within your Fantasy Grounds Unity. So every dice that you roll will show to your players and to your GM whenever you roll them. Uh, they will only be available for you, however, and every player and or GM will need their own special dice. Um, so by default, you've got your main dice here, which you can color. You can change you know, the background or the text color. Uh, I'm going to set it as white body with a black text for now. But when I select here uh, the metal dice, this is from clicking the colors button here, it will show now I've got gold. And then I have, uh, that was a dark gold, sorry. And then I have a lighter gold. These have a fixed background and text color combination. And then the rusted iron, same thing. Stained copper. And then steel. And then now I've got a number of dice that have this little indicator over the top corner, the top right corner, which uh, basically indicates that these are colorable with a color palette. So now that I select this, you'll notice that this dice color is, is blanked out for any of these dice. But once I select here, now I have my body and my text color again. If you want to see what the dice look like with no color selected, make sure that you select a white body. Um, and then I recommend maybe, you know, any color text color you want. However, the white body will, will allow you to see the default texture. So this is a high polish dice. And then this is your pitted dice. And then you have a regular polish. So we got polished, high polished, and then polished. Then you have a rusted dice. Again, this rusted dice will look just like the, uh, the rusted dice here, rusted iron, and the same for the stain. They will look the same. The difference is once I select rusted here, I can come through and I can now pick different colors for those. So we really wanted you to have the option to see what the dice would look like just straight away, uh, but then be able to color them and make your own kind of choices. So if I want to come up with some, like, you know, uh, kind of like a greenish sort of color here, I can select that and change the, the pip color, maybe like a whitish color there. And now you'll see I've got those selected. Now this color combination will, will be remembered. So as I click through, I'll, I can now see what the polished version of that and the high polished version of that would look like. So for like a high polished one, I might go with like a really dark color. And then this will be compared with the default dice using that same color combination. So you see the basics one here, and then here I've got the different versions with the different textures and the different specular um, setups on those. So that is the metal dice. Hope you like it. Thanks.